Okay, okay, guys, I'm back, and I am. If my camera will, will if my tripod will hold up correctly, I'm trying to get you guys on a close up so that you can watch me. I'm gonna paint the inside of my seashell. So let me go over here, and hopefully, uh, it'll behave. Okay, so I'm gonna take some of my um, distress inks, and I'm gonna just squish it down on on my mat and I took a Victorian velvet, a little bit of vintage photo and a little bit of tattered uh, tattered rose. Okay so I'm just going to use a little tiny bit and I'm going to spray just a little bit of water so that the colors are lighter than what I want. I mean you know lighter than what they come. So I'm going to take a little bit and I'm going to try it out on, ah, I have a paper towel, so I'm going to take a little bit of this. This is, okay, so yeah, I want some water. Yeah, seashells are, they're colorful. I love when the salt water is on them because there's, you know, that's when all their color and their beauty shows. Take them out and dry them off and some of the pretty fades. And sometimes, there's dark, and I'm gonna put a little, little, little bit of dark in here. Um, I think it's darker at the top. Put a little more dark, the top of the seashell. Okay, and maybe I'll put a little. Little shadow from you know. Okay, so that's that's that, and then um, and there's my book supporting it. I'll put this back over the book. Hello. Okay, and now I think I'll work on my um, on my starfish. So I'm gonna do that. Do whatever you like, you can make it however you want. Yeah, I like that. Okay, maybe a little bit more like that, and then maybe some shadow here. I like a little shadow here. A little sh maybe a little shadow over here. Okay, so then I'm gonna shut this down and then we'll, you know, attempt to do some more stuff. Okay, folks, it's me, JL54, and I'm doing it again. I'm coming back and um, I added some little bubbles with the tip of the. Where is it? My dauber, that blue dauber. Here, this dauber, this dauber. I added some little bu bubble-like things with the tips, right? And it didn't, because there's a, the framing is here, it didn't come out too good here, but what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use one of my favorite things, and that's the sparkle and sprinkle embossing powder. Oh, it's not gonna focus. Well, anyway, anyway. No, it doesn't focus, okay. So anyway, that's what I'm gonna use right now. We'll see if this works. If it doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm gonna put it here. And I'm using it without a block because the block, you know, is a flat, hard surface and it won't go around corners. So, yeah, let's see if this works. All right, we'll see. We'll know when we put the embossing powder on. So right now, I'm going to move this book out of the way, and I'm going to put the embossing powder on it. So we shall see. Let's see. Oh, it looks like it's stuck. Okay, let me get, uh oh, my gun's out of the way. Hold on, let me get my gun. See, I'm going to have to do a lot of editing. I hope I can remember what my son-in-law taught me. I'm a mess. Okay. I'm gonna do it. I hope you can see that. I hope I'm in frame.
sprinkle my stuff all over. I don't want to spray it all over, so I'm going to move that there. Hopefully it won't go anywhere. Okay. sand so I'm going to continue to place this all around in different spots on the page and I'll, I also gathered some seashells and um, like some seashells that I'm going to put on here and a bead and more seashells so you just gather your supplies and um, I'll be back okay I'm back and uh, I'm going to show you what's becoming the project. I did some more of the sand finish here and I, uh, let's see, where is it? Here's another piece. Excuse my arm. I, uh, let's see, vintage photo dyed some cheesecloth and I laid it behind my pictures. I tore my pictures and inked the edges with that blue, the same blue, and sorry for the glare. And I laid it behind because I wanted to tie the pictures in. The pictures are kind of small. I thought I had a smaller canvas, but anyway, so I wanted to tie it in. So I've got this vintage, uh, I mean the uh, cheesecloth in vintage photo. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it all down and then I will add my seashells and um, stuff. So yeah, this is my accomplishment for today, day three of Marian Smith's challenge. And um, yeah, so gather your things. Uh, it's not that hard to do. Just gather your colors that you want to use. The, pick your colors from your photo and um, maybe pick some stamps and some paint and some embossing powders and uh, your favorite trims, some doodads. And I might put a fish on here, I'm not sure. But yeah, that's it. So. Um, I'll probably show it to you, uh, the finished product tomorrow, but as for now, um, I think this is it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go have some Cuban food tonight. I've been in North Carolina where there's no Cuban food and I'm jonesing for some Cuban food. So that's my project and I hope you like it and try it. All right, peace out. Okay, it's done. It's done. I hope you can see it. Let me turn the camera this way, maybe, away from the sun. Okay, so that's it. Let me back up a little. I think that's as back as it'll go. Okay, let me, I'm going to pick you up and show you. Okay, I'm going to prop it up and show you. Let's see. There it is. There it is. I hope you like it. So, um, that's my day number three, and, um, yeah, I like it. Um, it's going in my, it's going to hang on my wall. Talk to you later. Um, bye.